Hello preschoolers. I wanted to show you what to do with your little strips of paper that you got in your package from me. And it has to do with the brown bear story. And what we're going to do is take these strips of paper and make a paper chain. And then that chain will help us tell the story of brown bear, brown bear. It will kind of help us remember what the order of the story is. So the way that Miss Jill makes a paper chain is I'm going to take the first color that is in our story, brown for brown bear, you got it, and I'm going to make a loop. So I'm going to take my paper, fold it up like this, and I have to kind of pinch it closed with my fingers like that. And then I use a piece of tape and I'm going to tape right here where my papers meet so that it stays shut. Now I might want to be extra thorough and put a piece of tape on the inside too so that it holds really well. And now what shape do I have? I have a circle. I have a brown circle for brown bear and then I'm going to add the next circle. And what's the next animal? What's the animal that brown bear sees? Red bird, you got it. So I'm gonna take my red strip of paper and I'm gonna put it through the circle like that, put it through the circle. And then I'm gonna make my loop so that they're attached. So they're linked together like a chain. And then I'll add my pieces of tape again. So I think I like that idea, adding a piece of tape on the outside and a piece of tape on the inside so it holds really well. And now I have two links to my chain, okay? Um, after Red Bird, home. Oh, what does Red Bird see? Does anyone remember? Red Bird sees a yellow duck. So yellow is going to be the next color in our chain. So I'm going to put that through the red circle and close it up and hold it closed with my fingers like that. And then use my tape on both sides so it doesn't come undone. And I have to be kind of gentle with this chain because it's made of paper. And we all know that sometimes paper can rip if we're not careful. So we have to be kind of gentle with our paper chain because if we pull it too hard or if we're not careful, then maybe our chain could rip. And that's okay, we can make a new chain, but it's a good idea to be gentle with it. After our yellow duck, what do we see? Hmm, I know. We see a blue horse. So we'll add our blue link onto our chain. There's our blue link for blue horse. You might need a grown up to help you with getting the tape ready for you to put onto your chain. So maybe tearing off little pieces of tape for you so that you can put them on. And you might need to work with maybe a brother or sister or a parent where one person holds your chain for you and then the other person puts the tape on. So it's a good project to do together with somebody. After Blue Horse, we see Green Frog, Green Frog. So here's our green link. There's our green link. After green, we see something purple. Purple cat, you got it. Okay, purple cat, here's our purple link. Does anyone remember what we see after purple cat? We see white, a white dog, yes. So what Miss Jill likes about this chain is that it gives us a clue about what the animal is and the clue is the color of the animal. 
so we don't actually see the animal like we do on our sticks. Our sticks show us the animal and the color. But this chain is kind of special because it just shows us the color. So we have to use our thinking brains to remember what animal was that color. So let's, I'm going to finish our chain up and see if Miss Jill remembers the animals. So after white dog, we see a black sheep. Okay, there's our black sheep. We'll put our tape on. And sometimes, oh, oh, did you see that? Sometimes we might have to make that loop again because maybe we forgot we were holding the loop and we went to go do something and we forgot that we were holding on to that paper. So sometimes you might have to try your loop more than one time and that's okay. We have time to do that. So here's our black loop for our chain, for our brown bear chain. Hope it's getting long, friends. And then after the black sheep, we see an orange fish, a gold fish. So gold is kind of the color of orange too, especially when we're talking about fish. So Miss Jill used the color orange for gold fish, okay? So then we'll put our tape on. Remember to pinch your paper and we're being careful and gentle with our paper chain because we know it can rip. So we're just being kind of gentle and using soft hands. Okay, are you ready to see the chain? Let's see if I can back up so you can see the whole thing. There's our brown bear chain. Oh, I love it, preschoolers. I'm so excited to see your chains. So now these links, I can hold them while I'm singing, will help me remember the order of all of those brown bear characters. Should we try and sing it? And then you can make your own chain. Ready? Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. And I didn't have a color for our teacher or our children, but maybe you'll come up with a color of your own and you'll add another link for teacher and children. Miss Jill kind of stopped with goldfish. So I'm so excited to see your paper chains and hear you tell me a story of Brown Bear Brown Bear using your colors as clues about the next animal. Have fun, preschoolers. Bye-bye.